Hello, my name is Mr. Allen, and I'm the middle school band director here at Concordia International School, Shanghai. Welcome to my flip classroom. Today, we're going to discuss how to produce a crowing sound on a double reed. What I have right here in front of me is an oboe reed. A double reed, whether it's oboe or bassoon, is one reed on one side fastened to a second reed on the other side by this cane and wire here that's attached to a cork. So oboes and bassoons technically don't have mouthpieces. We've talked about embouchure and embouchure face and oboe face in band class, and you should be able to now play a nice long tone on a double reed by itself. After that, an essential technique for double reed players is to be able to produce a crowing sound. What this means is you should be able to, as you're moving the air through the reed, be able to flex the embouchure muscles by putting slight pressure down on the reed and loosening the reed, giving it what we call a crow effect. Now, why do double reed players need to do this? The purpose is, is that when you begin to match sounds on your instrument with those around you or with an electronic or digital tuner in front of you, you have to be able to manipulate the quality of the sound to match it exactly. We call that intonation. So I can give you an example on an oboe, for example, especially with first timers. You play a sound and it may not match exactly to where the pitch should be. Why am I making this sound on the oboe? Because as I play a long tone, I should be able to listen and adjust with my embouchure to match the pitch exactly where it belongs. When you become more accustomed to what it should sound like and what the tension is, you begin to do that naturally on, the, on your own. It's always recommended that double reed players, oboe and bassoon, practice long tones with a digital tuner in front of them so they get a visual idea of what they should sound like. Another way is if you're practicing with an instrument player who has experience and has a good tone by matching pitches with that instrument too. It should always be done by sound and by sight. Both methods are very helpful. We hope that you find this video rewarding and beneficial to you in your development as a young double reed player. Thank you.